Here present ideas about the motion of body state back to Galileo and uh, Newton. He believed Aristotle, uh, who said that the natural state of a body was to be at rest and uh, at it moved only if driven by force or impulse. He followed that. Uh, Not answer to check on black by observation, so no one until Galileo bothered to see whether bodies of different weights did in fact fall at different speeds. He said that Galileo demonstrated that Hansel's wave was false by jumping with from the leaning tower of Pisa. So it's almost certain and true. But Galileo did do something equivalent. And your balls of different ways down and smooth drop. The situation is smaller too. It's smaller to that of heavy heavy body bodies forming and uh, only vertically. But it is easier to observe because the speeds are smaller. Galileo's measurements indicated that each body increased its speed at the same rate. No matter what it, no matter, no matter what it's with. For example, if you let go of a ball on the slope that drops by one meter for every ten minutes, you go along the ball will be traveling down the slope at a speed of about one meter per second after one second. Minutes per second after two seconds. For example, if you know, uh, if you let go of a ball on a slope that drops for, by one meter for every ten minutes, one meter for every ten minutes, yeah. that drops by one meter every ten minutes, ten minutes, you go along two meters per hour, second or two seconds and so on. However, how how many per hour? That's better. But that is. The lead weight of a feather feather. No, and that is only because the feather is short down by the uh, resistance. If one drops two bodies that don't have no lead weights.
Ich werde die Füße durch das Fenster geöffnet. Berichtings. Er führt in Hand. Peter.
Maxwell succeeded in employing partial levels up to then had been used to describe the theories of electricity and magnetic Maxwell's equations predicted that there could be wave like disturbances in the combined electromagnetic magnetic field and that this would travel at a fixed speed, not reverse. Reverse between one wave crust and the next. It is a matter of all. They are what we now call radio waves. Shorter wave depths are known as microwaves. A few centimeters or if broad more than a ten thousand of a centimeter. Visible light has a wave length of between only forty and eighty meters of a centimeter. Microwaves of physics and Adam Mond carried out a very careful experiment at the case group of applied science in Cleveland. Cleveland. They compared the speed of light in the direction of the Earth's magnetic motion with at, at right angles to the Earth's motion to their great surprise. They found they were exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Molly experiment in terms of objects, contracting and highly famous paper in 1905. They were exactly the same. There were several attempts, most notably with the Dutch physicist Lorenzi to explain the result of the reaction in terms of objects conducting in the clock slowing down when they moved through the air. However, in a famous paper in 1905, a hatch shared unknown clock in the Swiss patent office, and Albert Einstein pointed out that the whole idea of an other was unnecessary, providing one was willing to abandon the idea of absolute time. A similar point was made a few weeks later by a leading French mathematician, Harry Poker, 
Einstein's arguments were closer to physics than those of Porter, who regarded this problem as mathematical. Einstein is usually given the credit for the new theory, but Poincare, pointing, Poincare is remembered by having his name attached to an important part of it, the fundamental postulate of the theory of relativity, as it was called, was the laws of science should be the same for all freely moving observers. The idea was extended to include Maxwell's theory with the light. All observers should measure the same speed of light, no matter how fast they are moving. This simple This simple idea has remarkable consequences. Perhaps the best known are the equivalence of mass and energy, summed up in Einstein's famous equation. Where is energy? M is mass, and C is the speed of light, and the law nothing may travel faster than the speed of light. Because of the Let's revolutionize our idea of space and time. In Newton's theory, if a pulse of light is sent from one place to another, different observers will agree on the same that the journey took. The equally remarkable consequence of relativity is the way it was revolutionized our ideas of space and time. It has, in Newton's theory, if a pulse of light is sent from one place to another. Different observers will agree on the time that the journey took, since time is absolute, but will not always agree on how fast the light traveled, since space is not absolute. Since the speed of the light is just the distance it has traveled divided by the time it has taken, different observers will measure different speeds for the light. In relativity, on the other hand, all observers must agree on how fast light travels. They still, however, do not agree on the distance that the light has traveled. So they must therefore now also disagree over the time it has taken. The time taken is the distance the light has traveled, which the observers do not agree on, divided by the light speed, which they do agree on. In other words, the theory of relativity puts an end to the theory of absolute time. It appeared that each observer ha must have its own measure of time, and as recorded by a clock carried with him, and that an identical clock carried by different observers would not necessarily agree. Like this, this is. Uh, Okay, this is it. For observer, even that which are the power this is reflected back. The, 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 the observer's path to space, space, and time is shown as the vertical line on the left. The path of light rays. Uh, uh, each observer, different observers will not necessarily agree. Different observers could use radar to say where and when an event took place by sending on a path of light or radar. Well, suppose.
This idea is shown in figure 2.1, which is an example of space time diagram. Using this procedure, observers who are moving relative to each other will assign different times and position to the same event. The particular measurements are unknown or the other and other observers. But all the measurements are related. Any observer can work out precisely what time and position any other observer is assigned to an event. Probably not the relative velocity. Nowadays we use precisely because we can measure time molecule. The same clock. Second, this is simply defined at the uh, distance the light travels in one second. In theory of relativity, we now define distance in terms of time and the speed of light. Time and the speed of light. You can describe the position of a point in space by the numbers or coordinates. For example, one can say that the point in the moon is 7 feet from one wall, 3 feet from another, and 5 feet from the bottom floor. Or one could specify that the point. of much use. Major coordinates and any measure of time. In relativity, there is no real distinction between the space and time coordinates, just as there is no real difference between any two space coordinates. One could choose a new set of coordinates which, in which, say, the first space coordinate was the uh, combination of the first and second space coordinates. For instance, 
Instead of measuring the position of a point on the Earth in miles north of Picality and miles west of the miles north west, miles north west, north east. Similarly, in the Picality one, we use the new time coordinate that was the old time. Past the distance north of the. It is often helpful to think of the four coordinates of an uh, event and uh, as specifying its position in the four dimensional space called space time. It's impossible to imagine a four dimensional space. Uh, I personally find it hard enough to realize the dimensional space. However, it is easy to draw. two coordinates latitude and longitude I shall generally use diagrams in which uh, in which time increase upwards and one of the spatial innovation generally use diagrams in which time increases upward and one of the spatial dimensions is generally the other two Spatial dimensions are ignored, or sometimes one of them is indicated by perspective. Here, the speed of light should be the same whatever, whatever the speed of the, the, the speed of the force and we should have been confirmed by asteroid measurements. It flows from this that if the pulse of light is emitted at a particular time, at, uh, if the pulse emitted is emitted at a particular time and a particular point of space, then the sun goes on in the first uh, the sphere of light force.
special. Good circle. And it's the shortest street between the two points. It's the two that's the this path between the two airports. This is the Newton Airline Navigator Hotel Point. Pilot to Airline Abbey Navigator Hotel Point. Oh, in general, 24 is always blows straight lines in four dimensions based on one day. Nevertheless, this appeared to us to move along curved path in our three-dimensional space. Watching I have uh, fly over highly ground. Highly ground. Although it flows a straight line in three dimensional space, its shadow follows a curved path on the two-dimensional grounds. The mass of the the sun curves space time in such a way that although although the earth follows a straight path in four dimensional space time, it appears to us to move along to move along a circular well, a circular orbit in a three dimensional space in fact the orbits of the planets Predicted by general gravity are almost exactly the same as those predicted by the Newton general gravity. However, in the case of imagine Mercury, which being the nearest planet to the Sun, Hoshin, Mars, we have a strong gravitational effects and uh, has a rather uh, to the Sun. 金星是水水星水星水星水星水星怎么进动？看一下这个按钮，我是我太多把的这样，这 red about one degree in ten thousand years small though this fact is, it has been noted 
before 1915 and served as one of the first confirmations of Edison's theory. In recent years, the even smaller devaluation of the orbits of other planets from the Newtonian predictions have been measured by radar and found to agree with the predictions of general relativity. Large rays too much follows. The uh, geodesics. six Again, the fact that space is curved means that light no longer appears to travel in straight lines in space. So general relativity predicts that light should be bent by gravitational fields. For example, the theory predicts that the light cones of points near the sun would be suddenly being bent inward. On account, on account of the mass of the sun. This means that light from a distant star that happened to mass pass near the sun would be deflect, deflected through a small angel, angle, causing the star to appear in a different position to an observer on the Earth. Apparent, apparent position of a star. Of course, if the light from the star always passed close to the sun, not be able to tell whether the light was being deflected, or if in, instead the star was merely merely near while we see it. However, as the Earth orbits around the sun, different. Different stars appear to pass behind the sun and have their lights deflected. They therefore change their apparent position relative to other stars. It is normally very difficult to see this effect because the light from the sun. It is possible to do so during an eclipse of the sun when the sun's light is blocked out of the moon. And since prediction of light deflection, could not be tested immediately in 1915 because the First World War was in progress, and it was not until 1919 that a British ex expedition observing an eclipse from West Africa showed that light was indeed, indeed deflected by the sun, just as predicted by the theory. This proof of a German theory by British scientists was held. Hailed as a great act of the coexistence between the two countries after the war. It is ironic, therefore, that later explanations of the photographs taken on the expedition show that errors were as great as the fact. We were trying to measure. The, their measurements had been sheer luck, or a case of knowing the result they wanted to get. Not uncommon occurrence. Besides, the light deflection has, however, been empirically confirmed by a number of later observations. Another prediction of general relativity is that time should appear to run slower near a massive body than the Earth. The frequency as light travels upwards in the Earth's gravitational field, it loses energy and so its frequency goes down. This means that the length of time between one wave first and the next goes up. To someone higher up, it would appear that everything down below was taking longer to happen. This prediction was tested using a pair of very accurate clocks mounted at the top and bottom of a wave. World Water Tower, the clock at the bottom, which is near the Earth, was found to run slower. In exact agreement with general relativity, the difference in the speed of clocks at different heights above the Earth is now of considerable practical importance. 
with uh, the advert of very good navigation systems based on signals from satellites. For the predictions of general relativity navigation, the one calculated would be wrong by several miles. It is loss of motion put an end to the idea of absolute position in space. The theory of relativity gets rid of absolute time. Consider a pair of twins. Suppose that one twin goes to the time one, time one, and the other one. First train will age faster than the second, not if they meet again, one will be older than the other. In this case, the difference in ages would be very small, but it would be much larger if one of the trains went for a long trip in a spaceship at nearly the speed of light. When he returned, he would be much younger than the one who stayed in on Earth. This is known as the twins' paradox, but it is a paradox only if it has a time edge. In the back of what might in the theory of relativity, there is no unique absolute time, but that each individual has his own personal measure of time that depends on where he is and how he is moving. Before 1915, space and time were thought of a fixed arena in which events took place, but which was not affected by what happened in it. This was true even mm, a special. Theory of relativity. Bodies moved, forces attracted and uh, repelled, but time and space simply continued unaffected. This, it, it was nature to think that. Uh, was nature to think that. Uh, nature to think that space and time went on forever. The situation, however, is quite different in the general theory of relativity. Space and time are, are now dynamic quantities. When a body moves, for four sets, it affects the curvature of space and time, and in turn, the structure of space time affects the way in which bodies move and the uh, forces act. And in turn, the structure of uh, space time affects the, the, the way in which bodies move and the uh, forces act. Space and time not only affect but also are affected by everything that happens in the universe. Just as one cannot talk about events in the universe without the notion of space and time, so in general relativity, it becomes meaningless to talk about space and time outside the limits of the universe. In the following decades, this new understanding of space and time was to revolutionize our view of the universe. The old idea of an essentially unchanging universe that could have existed and could continue to exist forever was replaced by the notion of a dynamic, expanding universe that seems to have begun a finite time ago and that might end at a finite time in the future. This revolution forms the subject of the new chapter. And years later, it was also to be the starting point of my book in theoretical physics. Joker points and I showed that Einstein's general theory of relativity implies that the universe must have a beginning and possibly an end.